name is Mike Sullivan. I'm a former IRS agent and teaching instructor with the IRS. I look so good in front of the camera. Uh, uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. I have worked, I don't know, thousands of cases, maybe over 10,000. Um, I am a national expert on resolution matters. Whatever I tell you is actually what you need to know. Um, I've been doing this work for a long, long time. And um, what I like to do is actually, uh, you know, my YouTubers are kind of my favorite people. You know, I didn't get into this YouTube deal about a year ago. And, you know, YouTubers are kind of like Home Depot people, do-it-yourselfers. They like to find out. They don't like to explore. They want to see the face of the person that's giving them the information to find out whether they're credible or not. Well, what I like to do here on my channel is kind of rip the curtain so you can see what, what IRS is thinking. I've worked so many cases with the IRS outside, I know IRS insider information. So I just, I spend no more than five minutes giving you what you need to do. I don't crap around. So today I want to talk to you about a very important subject. How do I know when IRS is going to take my, my, my bank account? When is that going to happen? So as a former agent, I have signed thousands of bank levies, wage garnishment levies all. But how do you know exactly when IRS is going to levy. Can I tell you? I can tell you. I'll tell you exactly when IRS is going to take that levy. I'll do that on the next segment. No, I'm just kidding. I'll tell you now. So what IRS does is they send out a series of notices. 501, CP 502, CP 503, CP 504. The CP 504 is final notice before seizure of intent to levy and garnishment. Is that really the last notice? No. IRS must give you your appeals right. Wait. Don't make a knee-jerk reaction. Wait until they issue the 1058 letter, which is coming, which is coming six weeks after the 504. When you get that letter, they give you 30 days to file a collection due process hearing. At that time, you can request a hearing where you can ask for a payment agreement, offer, doubt the liability, or get into a payment plan. Do not call IRS until you file your CDP and go. So you are not going to get levied. Your bank account is not going to be levied until you get your until you get your 1058 letter. When you get that 504 letter, if you call too soon, the agent's going to take the information and you may not be able to like what they're going to hear. So don't do that. The other thing you have to understand is what's going to happen when you call to get your levy released. Very simple. IRS is going to take a financial statement. If it's with an RO, it's a lot more complicated. You better call me. If it's in the service center, you want to do it by yourself. It's a 433F form. 433F financial statement. They'll want that form documented. They're going to look at your income, your expenses, and they'll make a determination on the collectability of your case. At that time, you can get your case put in a payment agreement, or a hardship currently non-collectible. But you need to know the formula on what IRS is going to do when they go ahead and get and get that financial statement. You should know that when you pick up that call to get your levy released, okay, they're going to say, okay, give us your bank statements, give us your pay stubs, give us a list of your expenses. At that time, if they're satisfied that you can get to a payment agreement or a hardship, they'll release the levy right then. They'll go ahead and send it out, and you can get your bank levy, you can get your levy released and everything back. So I just want you to know that. What is IRS going to do regarding, though, how they're actually going to work the case? IRS has a set of national standards. So if you fill out a financial statement, IRS is going to say, well, you know, based on where you live and how many exemptions you have, this is what we're going to give you to live. If you have $6,000 a month and IRS only allows you $5,000 a month, you got a $1,000 payment to IRS. So don't go calling IRS until you know how they're going to look at your financial statement, because if not, they may continue to levy or get a payment agreement you cannot afford to pay. So the best thing to do after you get your 504 notice and your 1058 letter, file an appeal. When you get the appeal, you'll have an appeals hearing. At that time, you can go over the financial statement, and you better know what you're doing at that point to go ahead and help resolve your case. Anyway, that's how you know when the levy's coming. IRS cannot levy before that. They must give you your letters, your 504, and your 1058 appeal right. Thank you very much. By the way, if this was helpful, give me a subscribe if you would. I need them and a like. Leave comments. I'll always get back with you. Thank you.